Hello folks, Brandon here. So I got a little fan blowing on me here, a heating fan. And um, the fact of the matter is, yes, it's warm outside today. The fog from this morning, I made some earlier videos I deleted, it's now gone. But, um, yeah, I still feel a coolness inside, like inside's cold, but outside's warm. So, but I must warn take a few moments and talk about my interaction relationships with women that have really stuck out to me inside my life now when i was real young like really really young and didn't know a dang thing difference about boys and girls and whatnot just knew that i was a boy and this guy was a girl and now i have to go on camera <sighs> wake up her name was Chelsea. Chelsea Thompson, I do believe. And the weird part was she almost ended up being related to us, but she wasn't. And at a young age, there, she was just this individual that stuck out to me. I mean, something I think even almost around the age of two or something. Was there some photo somewhere, me and this individual, of us actually um, kissing each other that young of age? It really doesn't count at all, but still. So, yeah, and I cannot wear my hat like that. I just don't feel right at the moment, okay? Then, later on, somewhere around like, I don't know, first grade or kindergarten, something like that, first, second grade, there was this girl named Ashton, and I liked her. And I had this crush on her and whatnot. I eventually told her, and she, she was okay with it. She was like, oh, that's gross, cooties and whatnot, and all that other crap from back in the days. Oh, man. And then, after that, and the person telling the story had it on again. Oh, man. And then, after that, I guess this warm air is making me sleepy. And then, after that, somewhere like third to maybe fifth grade I think because I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I started middle school at Darwin middle school at six leaving St. John's to work fifth um there's this girl named Jackie Bussey and she had some decent features for somebody that young of age even though other people would call her either thick someone would call her fat but anyway she was decent looking there was another, there was her, there was another girl named Caitlin Brown, and another girl named Madison Snipes. Madison was a skinny one, they toured the thickness. Caitlin kind of had some decent features, but nowhere near that of Jackie. And um, there was a moment where I was telling my friends that one day out in the um, playground, courtyard, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I don't know, it's, it's weird how people when they're young and still got that. They always. They want it to be a secret, but they want to tell somebody. They don't want it just to hold their self. I think I was talking to either my friend Justin, Karan, or Trevor, Santa. Those were the only main four people back then I can remember. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, I'll get sleepy. I don't think it was Timothy. We didn't really last that great as friends for too long and too well, so. Now... And it's right around the time I was telling him, he kind of reacted like, what, you? And I told him to be quiet, and she was kind of like walking near as I was telling like, son of a gun, I just like ran <laughs> across the gosh darn thing. It was all the time I saw my parents wherever like, okay, bye-bye, you know. And um, so, yeah. Then it was that leaving into middle school, and it was like the second or third year, I believe, in middle school. There was this tall, um, somewhat, I'm going to say curvy, because he wasn't thick, decent looking, blonde, nice, big lip girl named Ashley Watford. That was my middle school crush. I told one of the teachers that, you know, that I had feelings for her. And he said, hey man, you know, if that's you. And he... He was sometimes joke with me, say I had bad taste of women. He was he was a pretty cool teacher, and he hinted her once in a while, not straight out, you know about that. But she eventually found out, and 
she didn't like me back and she didn't like the fact that I had somewhat of the hots for her, the attraction, the effect, or whatever the heck you want to call it. So there was that. There wasn't too many more people I remember. Oh, man. Yeah. In middle school, they really caught my eye. But there was this one random girl every once in a while that would come and holler out my name and say, I love you, Brandon. I love you. And she was, it's, it's okay, fella. It's okay. I'm sorry. And she was somewhat short, a little bit thick. I think she wore glasses. And it, it was, uh, interesting having the shoe on a different foot although i wouldn't like that towards you know girls i would i would not like oh ashley i love you like some fanboy type deal all stupid and whatnot so then after you know dealing with that for so long and actually going through different stuff in her life and her getting a totally different look to where she didn't look the same anymore and didn't act the same to, I lost the interest in that. Then, you know, going out of middle school, going into high school. So glad I got out of freaking middle school with that daggum. Hades Hole of Prison, basically. Um, and then, first year of high school, you know, we had um, some really pretty girls. I thought my question about it. I don't know that number. Who, who the heck's caller? I don't even know this freaking one. Hold up. Okay. In the happening of the phone going off just then, I somehow, I don't know how that could happen, but the plate, I had my food on. I was about to eat. Just slid off just then. And now it's going to be feathers, my dogs. Because that right there. See it? So, yeah. A perfectly good patty just got wasted because of a number of calling I didn't even freaking know. This is all your fault. Phone. This is all your freaking fault. So yeah, how lovely. It's okay. I'm not taking your food. I'm just putting it on there. So don't bite my hand. All right. Okay. Where the freak was that? So let me just name some of the girls started in high school that kind of caught my eye pretty much. Um, Holly Moskowski, Destiny Chancy, Nikki Locklair, Brittany Clark, um, anybody else? Annika Chandler a little bit, because she had a little bit of a pill her in, in middle school, excuse me. Um, Brianna wasn't with us no more. Brianna Jenkins, she had a decent buy that most other, um, less mixed with African Caucasians females didn't have. But I'm saying that the majority of them looked bad. They just didn't look good as she did. Now, let me turn my fan back on high right here. And put it back on me so I can get warm again. So yeah, and it wasn't until like halfway through the second year of high school, and almost halfway through the year in general, there was this random girl that I was walking across the... And there I go yawning again, it must be the heater. It must be the heater. I was walking across the parking lot. This one girl put her hand up way high and waved at me. I didn't even know her. She looked pretty pretty, but I didn't even know her. I was hoping she was waving at me, and I just wasn't like, oh, I think it's pretty weird, but let me wave back, hey. So, it went from just back and forth waving to one day, she handed me a note. And it was going back and forth with that, and then we kind of got to know each other pretty well. We got to call each other, and, you know, and 
I wasn't really sure if she wanted to date me or just wanted a good friend at first. There still was some of that young innocence left in me during the second year of high school that really didn't get beat out a little bit till like third and fourth year. The last remaining years. You okay, Father? You okay, Pup Pup? Huh? Don't you end up getting under the damn hair on the floor from getting that patty off there? Um, so yeah. And, well, that went from going crap in case anybody wonders why I yawn a lot of my videos, I don't sleep that well half the time. That's why I'm yawning. I don't sleep that well half the time, so, yeah. So anyway, like I was saying, and that didn't end that well, and then my first actual girlfriend after that was a girl named Tiffany Foster who I already envied when she was dating a former friend of mine no longer I'm my friends with. Not because it's a girl, because of a lot of different reasons, but anyway. And there was that. But even when I was with her, I was still one of the original girl that gave me all the notes of what her name was Jessie. And she I guess I could say led me on the way to thinking that she wanted to be around more as a friend and I seen that her friends didn't really seem that great of people. So I guess I could say <clears throat> I guess I could say I tried to become the I'm not gonna say big brother role because she never saw me as that. But some way persons I could try to lead her away from them, but also the longer I stayed with her before all that other stuff, stuff happened, a little bit after, I don't know it's weird, after something that happens between me and women that makes them like me less, I actually start to like them in a different way of like liking them, which makes no sense to me now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah. So I started out, you know, questioning what she wanted me to be and then ended up being a pretty good friend and later on question the possibility of dating this person, never got to, and then just wanted to be sure enough good friends, and she let her friends and her old boyfriends get in the way, and just, it was, it was, it was a big old freaking mess when it was. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yeah. And then, you know, after Tiffany, my ex, that was, a. Uh, <clears throat> Man, that was about it, you know, and there were some people that I just thought was really nice people and they seemed to have no problem with me, but it's weird. You show people too much interaction, especially girls, and I guess they immediately think you want something from them or you want them sexually or something, you know. You can bug the crap out of a same sex person you that's a male and they're like dude are you just bored or what you, you, you're bugging the crap out of me man come on i got better stuff to do than talk to you on the phone for two hours about random crap or you message me 50 100 times or you whatever that, that that that'd be how guys handle it in my opinion from my experience you really got good people of love huh So, yeah, anyway, like I said, so I got blocked from this guy for a good while, but, but it wasn't because of her thinking that I was almost trying to get into her space too much at some point. It was more of the fact of this one new boyfriend. I wasn't the only person that was blocked, multiple other friends, supposedly what she told me, and what they got upset about as well, about being blocked online, we'd be able to talk to them. And it was all a bunch of freaking bull crap. That is smoldering. And, um, so yeah. Then later on after that happened, we eventually talked a tiny bit, you know, I see if I can step my foot in back into that space just a tiny bit. Nowhere near like I used to though. 
I reacted terribly due to 